Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to PBTV. I'm Stu, we're live on YouTube and Facebook and today we are going to look at evolution. So welcome back. So we've got a load of different uh, platforms to look at uh, today. I'm surrounded by different bits, but the first thing we're going to look at is Evolution's answer to the M40 sniper rifle. So welcome back. Here it is. So this is uh, Evolution's answer to uh, a Bolte. Uh, if you're after something that's um, super lightweight, is the first thing that I did when I got it out of the box. This thing's really, really good. If you've never ever uh, touched a sniper rifle before and you're thinking, yeah, I want to, I want to step into it, but you're not wanting to absolute blow uh, tons of uh, money on it, this is probably where it's at. There's uh, various different uh, colours available. There's black, green, olive. Um, and there's loads of different um, attachments that you can get for this thing as well. So as always, we'll cover a few of its features. If you have any questions at all on this or as we're covering other stuff, by all means, drop them in the comments below. We'll flash them up and make sure you get uh, an answer to it as quickly as possible. So the uh, Evolution platform. As I've said, it's come in, it comes in various colours. The barrel and the receiver obviously stays the same and the accessories stay the same. So the... Uh, Polytech or uh, reinforced polymer receiver is the bit that they change the colour of, uh, but it is uh, just a polymer, almost like sort of a rubberized texture on it, uh, is, is the bit that they change the colour on, so you get black, green or tan. All of which would be really, really cool if you end up spray painting it or you want to um, uh, camo it up. These things look really, really cool camoed up. Uh, so a few features on it as well. So there's a little um, lug hole there a lug hole at the back and they match on the other side as well um, those are your QD sling points so if you are wanting to sling this most sniper players will just run around with this in hand but if you do want to sling it throw it on your back that's totally fine to do at the bottom here oh we've got uh, questions coming in already Adam Arkel on Facebook what's the FPS uh, this one tested just before live stream uh, it's, they're doing about 330 340 FPS so they're um, quite good for starting out it means the bolt pulls clean yes they're not totally up there at the 500 fps mark uh, but it just gives you options for playing it at various different sites trying it out uh, and just seeing if sniping's for you again you could drop a different spring in this they are um vsr compatible on some parts not all um i will have to check which parts are exactly are compatible but it's not everything um so it's coming down to the bottom bit here uh, so there's a, a lug at the front and a set of rail section. So that means that this can fit the Harris bipod in both formats. So the lug is where you unscrew it and the uh, pincer part opens up on it. You can then drop that in, tighten it up, and it sits on that lug. If you want to take that bit off, you can then just mount it straight onto the Riz. Uh, it is slightly more secure on the Riz if you're just wanting it um, absolutely rock solid on there. But the Harris bipod is still a very, very secure option. Coming back slightly, you won't be able to see it, but on this side, it has the slider style hop. So you can just pull it back to apply hop. And again, yes, it's only doing about 330 FPS, but two eights, threes, anything like that, this is more than capable of uh, hopping them quite efficiently. Uh, coming down here, you will see that the mag is just here in the front. Uh, and then coming back, you see I've put a scope on it just to show that it's uh, got the rail on there. So it does have a 20 mil Riz style rail and it is a solid piece. It's not two separate pieces. So you have a lot more um, flexibility of where you want to mount your scopes. Uh, standard bolt pull and safety at the back here. Uh, and I, uh, I've missed a bit at the front. So this does have a 6.03 type bore barrel in it, which will be great for the FPS limit. Uh, power that this thing's producing and the hop that it's uh, got on it. Coming back, the uh, cheek pad on the back here, the four screws, just loosen them slightly. You can raise and lower it, tighten them down, and you've got uh, your adjustable cheek pad. The pads at the back are also removable, replaceable, and all that kind of stuff. So you can set this up exactly as it is uh, and super comfortable for yourself. 
Uh, it does come with a 30 round mag, so 30 rounds is a lot for a sniper. So if you're wanting to sit, chill, wait for your enemies and uh, just be a silent um, stalking machine, this is probably a really good option for you. Uh, Flynn on YouTube, is available different colours such as black or grey? Uh, dark grey, sorry. Uh, no, uh, so it's available in black, yes. It's not available in grey, as far as we're aware, but it is available in green and tan. Uh, but because the uh, receiver comes off, the uh, butt pad comes off, and the stock parts come off, all the other bits, you could quite easily spray this grey. If you're going to cam this up or change it or anything like that, that's totally doable as well. But we're going to move on to our next uh, piece. But again, uh, as we're carrying on, if you've got any questions on this at all, drop them down below. We're more than happy to come back uh, and talk about it if we've missed anything that you want to know about. But we are now going to go and have a look at their answer to the Mark 18. <music> So welcome back again. So this is Evolution's answer to the Mark 18 with Quad Rail. You will notice that it's got a big orange flash hider on the front of it. Don't worry, the, uh, all Evolution's go, uh, Evolution platforms come with that. Simply unscrew it and put the black flash hider that comes in the box on it. It's just purely from uh, where these are from. They have to have the orange flash hider on them. So why are you going to want this? What's cool about it? Uh, let's have a, a, a bit of a, a dive into it. So, straight off the bat, it's got that quad rail. It's got the Mark 18 quad rail. It's got the markings on it. It is the, the sort of base build of the, the sort of cult following platform that is out there at the moment. It's a great starting point, uh, and it's got some really, really, really good features to, uh, to step it beyond th other things in uh, the same sort of bracket. So you've got the quad rail with the markings on there. So on the top, you've got your T markings, your L markings, your R markings. So the RIS on all four sides is marked. So if you uh, throw lasers or anything on there and then you take them off to put something different on for a different type of event, you know exactly where you've put it and you can put it back in the exact same position and not have to move it around and see, oh, where did I put it? Did I put it there, there or there? You've just It's just a little bit easier. Uh, so the flip up iron sights are on a little button. So if I lock that down, pressing the button, they do spring up. It is a very powerful spring, so these things come up with a bit of a twang. But they are quite high. So with all the real estate that you've got on this with uh, Riz, if you do have um, sort of a holographic or a dot sight on this, if for whatever reason, worst case scenario, your batteries uh, run out on your optic, these things are co-witnessed through it. So you can shoot through the tube and uh, still have uh, a decent amount of accuracy, even in sort of emergency situations. Uh, so coming back to the receiver, this is what they are calling Polytech Polymer. So it's um, reinforced polymer, and I've always had um, uh, various opinions on metal platforms to polymer platforms. There's no difference um, performance-wise. It is just a preference, but if you're starting out and you're, very, you're an aggressive player and you're running around, polymer platforms, if you drop, bang, scuff this, bang it into a roll like that, anything like that, it's going to bump, it's going to bounce, it's going to mark slightly. Metal receivers are going to scratch, dent, uh, and the, anything that happens to them is, is much more permanent. Uh, so scratching paint off and anything like that, whereas polymer ones are much more forgiving. Um, coming to controls, it is right-handed dominant. So fire selector on the left, bolt hold open on the left. The, even the charging handle is uh, left-handed bias with the assist being on this side. But throwing that back, you will find that it does come with a rotary hop. So again, as we've said loads and loads of times, the rotary hops are the more precise um, it, when it comes to the AR platforms. They're much more rigid, especially if you're uh, full auto or um, you, you put a lot of rounds down range. They stay in that set position uh, much better than the gear ones that can slightly shift with the motion of the gearbox and the BB going through the hop. Mag release on the right hand side releases a 300 round standard metal Stanag uh, style magazine. Coming further back, you've got sling points on the left and right hand side, uh, meaning that you can two point, uh, single point, and you've even got QD points at the back of the stock. The stock is a super slick design. I do like how what they've done with these. Uh, it's got the space for a decent sized battery, but they've kept it super slim and uh, 
quite sleek uh, and it's probably compared to other Mark 18s that have the big chunky stock. Sometimes it's needed to fit them uh, the bigger batteries in, but I do really, really like the uh, sort of slick, uh, cool, st uh, streamlined platform that they've got. But if you've got a Mark 18 build in mind, definitely look at one of these the, as a base platform. They are incredible. Um, they've just got loads and loads of features. The 6.01 millimeter type ball that's in this means semi-auto on this is incredible. The the precision of it and the uh, accuracy of it is great. The downside of that is 6.01s can suffer a little bit uh, in full auto due to the FPS drop. So this is coming out about 316. So with a BB going down the barrel, you've got all that air pushing it, but and it's and it's nicely sealed. When you've got multiple BBs going down the barrel uh, with a, such a tight bore, it means the the BB is not pushing that first BB as much, so it does uh, drop off a little bit. But Absolutely love this thing. It is a great platform for people looking at a Mark 18. Um, and I think that what these built up look absolutely amazing. So that's the Mark 18. We'll uh, step up to what we believe is the uh, Evolution flagship uh, brand. The uh, And we're going to have a look at the Ghost EMRs. <laughs> So I couldn't decide which one to bring out because I think a lot of these are very, very cool. So I've brought two. So we'll have a look at both of them. Uh, as I've said with other sub-brands uh, of, of uh, companies, the core and the heartbeat and the, the beating heart at the center of it, all this bit is the same. Usually what changes is the stock styling and the front end. So everything that happens between these in the center is the same. The only thing that really changes between models is the length of the rail, the length of the barrel, and maybe the stock. Apart from that, the internal features are very, very similar. So both of these, even though the one is slightly longer, both were coming up about 305 FPS. So ah, um, it depends what you want. And if you want something CQB and really easy to slice the pie and cut round corners, this is probably the option. Uh, if not, I've got the longer one that's got the sound hog on it. But we'll have a quick uh, run through, see what these are looking like. And the first thing that always catches my eye with these is the receiver. It's going to be very hard to see it, but they've sort of uh, machined, uh, sort of molded a sort of skeletonized styling on it. Super aggressive, super sci fi. Uh, really, really like it. Uh, and it's just different to anything else out there uh, at, at something uh, at, at this budget. Again, it is a polymer receiver, but I've said it loads and loads of times, there's nothing wrong with a polymer receiver. Some people just think metal is better than plastic, but if you're a fast, aggressive player, I do think polymer is probably the way to go. It's lighter, it's more forgiving, it bounces before breaking, uh, and I just I do like uh, the additions that it gives to you. Uh, Paul Eastwood, are the stocks exchangeable? Uh, yes, absolutely. So if you want a different stock on the Ghost or on the Mark 18, Absolutely, even if you're wanting to swap to a PDW style, you can do that. But uh, if the slim stock isn't your thing and you want to whip it off and put maybe a PTS on there, absolutely, the uh, the stock tube itself uh, is, uh, is airsoft size, so you can throw any stock that you desire on there. Uh, Jimmy on Facebook, uh, I'm thinking of getting one of these. Don't think, just do it, they're absolutely awesome. When I come onto the internals of this, uh, they are really, really good. Um, but we'll cover some features uh, and see what uh, see if we can convince you if it is definitely what you're after. So with this one, it is the very, very short M-Lock style front end. You've got two sections of M-Lock on the right, left, and bottom, and then Riz on the top. Uh, unlike other uh, iron sights that I've covered before, when this thing clicks up, the... Uh, it's, it locks in place, so it's not a detent anymore. It's detent to put up, but you do need to press a button before you drop it back down, otherwise you might snap something and then it's not gonna uh, work properly. This is exactly the same for the rear end. Comes up, clicks, and then you have to press a button to drop it back down into its indent. Plenty of real estate, even for a short platform, you've got a load of real estate for your uh, optics on the top, uh, and the build in the center is very similar to what we've covered previously with the right-handed style, so fire selector, bolt hold open and the charging handle is the same as you'll see same orange style uh, rotary hop in there and a similar style uh, stock tube the slight differences between the short and the long variant 
is the stock is the same, but again, there are PDW variants if you want that uh, super slick, uh, tiny look, is the sound hog on the front, but the rail itself at the front, instead of having full riz, you've got a section at the front, a section at the back, and the center bit here is M-lock. What that allows you to do if you get an M-lock uh, torch or laser that fits directly to this and is cantered, it doesn't then protrude above this if you've got anything like a torch or... Um, a pet box behind it it's not going to obscure uh, and get in the way it is also just if you are uh, want to see clamp it or you want to get that uh, cool hand uh, grip on the front it's just a little bit easier it's a little bit more slimline and a very very slight uh, it is weight saving as well you've got a little bit less material therefore it's lighter but with it being a longer platform it's definitely heavier than the uh, the short boy down here so we'll have a look at some of the other features that are on this. So it does come with the uh, polymer mid cap, uh, ready to go, and uh, they do fit and drop really nice. If you're uh, if you're into quick mag changes, they do drop out, uh, and you can just slap a new one in really really easy, and you're good to go. So the Ghost EMR, why is this the um, flagship, or why is this above the Mark 18? It's the electric trigger system inside. So. To go through the electric trigger system is a video in itself, and we have touched it before. So if you want to go look at one of the EMR videos we've done before, we absolutely go ham on uh, every different detail that you can get in the, um, the electric uh, system inside this. It's got uh, active braking, it's got auto detection, it's got full cycle detection. The, the system that you're getting in this is on par with some of the top end... Um, MOSFETs that are available aftermarket that you have to drop in yourself, it's already in it uh, and it is a fantastic bit of kit. Um, so grabbing one of these, throwing some BBs in it, throw a battery in it and you are good to go. Again, it's got the type bar barrel, short, rail in, uh, short barrel in this, doesn't matter if you've got that type bar barrel, you're going to keep a decent amount of accuracy. Even full auto is the, probably the only time that this thing's going to uh, spread out a little bit. But again, it's a short barreled uh, platform. So this is designed for CQB, but it can still uh, put out when you go into a woodland or outdoors. Um, similar stock to previously, six positions, plenty of space. Even if you are, you've got the, the, the big gorilla arms like myself, you can throw that stock out and you've still got that ability to get around corners and uh, do things quite sneakily. Uh, more questions coming in. Paul Eastwood on Facebook. Uh, do you do spare mags for the? Um, do you do spare mags for this make? So uh, this takes any standard AEG magazines. There's no proprietary magazine for this. Any uh, so New Prol, Evolution themselves, uh, D mags, all of them will fit in this. You could put a Mega Mag in it. You could put a Drum Mag in it. Any standard AR platform AEG magazine will just slot straight in this and feed a dream. Uh, the one thing I have noticed with this is that they are just so consistent with uh, putting BBs down the barrel. Um, even on full auto, they just they just chug away really, really nice. Uh, and with that full cycle detection, that's what's helping it. It's just it's just so consistent and so clean and so nice. Um, you're going to love it. So guys that are looking at one of these... Uh, and they wanted more information, the only thing I could say is just get one. Get one, you're going to have a chunk of fun with it. The flat bladed trigger just makes it really, really easy, easy to bounce on it with uh, semi-auto, uh, and then full auto can just perform if you if you uh, desperately need it. As I was saying previously, it's got that rotary hop, so again, it's got that accuracy, it's got that consistency. You're going to put that BB in the exact same place every single time. I'd just probably drop a little uh, dot sight uh, holographic on this, maybe a torch on the front, and just run around like a... a, a crazy lad and you're gonna have a chunk of fun uh, so we'll have another quick look at the long one so this is the uh, the longer variant there are many many other uh, ghost dmrs i think there's probably 12 13 out there uh, with different stocks different rails and all sorts of different parts so if these don't uh, tickle your fancy have a look check them all out and i guarantee there's probably one that um will uh, will will definitely draw yourself to it if you're not liking this if you're not liking this style stock or the front end it's all compatible with all standard uh, AEG aftermarket parts with rails and stuff like that. But these rails are super slick, super lightweight, CNC aluminium keeps them light, keeps them um, really, really rigid. Uh, the mounting systems on it put together so, so well. But um, that's everything for today. We've covered uh, Evolution, the, uh, the M40, the Mark 18, and the Ghost DMRs. Um, fully, fully... Uh, 
respect this brand, uh, tried it on a field, very, very impressed with it for, for where it sits uh, in Airsoft. Uh, and if you can get your hands on one and test it out, uh, it's definitely worth adding one to your armory. But it's, if that's everything for today, it's always good to uh, talk to people, love answering your questions. So we'll be back again at 4 p.m. tomorrow for a, a standard live stream with a brand new product, hopefully. Uh, until then, I'll see you in a bit. Bye.